This is the way that the world is heading and I think we want to be the forefront of change. It's important to have a broader purpose. That's what was compelling in the first place, to start this whole ball rolling. We're making a great team to make you one very special. Super excited to share all this with Carlos Duarte. We don't give up on the dream that we can have a healthy ocean again in a few decades. I think the similar values of what E1 is all about are things that I've believed in for a while as well. And I think the world is heading toward a more sustainably uh, conscious model of living. But as it relates to sports, you know, how can we bring these environmental aspects to what we're doing? And I think there's been a lot of conscious thought put into this championship, all the way from our travel to the boats and the things that we're going to do at the races to bring these communities together to really exemplify what they're doing in terms of conservation and environmental impact as well. I'm here in Mallorca today to see Rafael Nadal. We're making a great, great team of uh, owners uh, in this championship that is going to make E1 very special. So Rafa, what motivates you to uh, join? Well, uh, first of all, the tour around the world will help to protect and to restore uh, marine ecosystems. I am super excited to, to share all these experiences with uh, Carlos Duarte. I think we're gonna learn a lot and we're gonna do uh, amazing, beautiful things. So uh, yeah, super excited about that and uh, can't wait to, to share all these experiences with Carlos. He's excited about a championship that is going to help develop better electric technology for the marine mobility. He's excited that boats in the future will be cleaner. He loves the oceans. He's also excited by Blue Action Program with Carlos Duarte. Gracias. We have lost over half of the blue natural capital of the ocean. Underwater sound is a major pressure on marine life. We need to step up in our efforts so we can have a healthy ocean again. My name is Carlos Duarte. I'm a professor of marine science at King Abdallah University of Science and Technology. And we are designing blue impact projects for the cities that E1 is going to raise. And I hope that if we do things right, we might rebuild the abundance of marine life in the ocean. And we can do that within one human generation, so by 2050. Our mission embeds a sustainability target. We want to accelerate the electrification of the water mobility by building a new, exciting sport platform. And so, by definition, we want to address this as one of the most important pillars of our proposition. More than 50% of human population live in coastal cities. So with E1, we hope to uh, demonstrate that it's possible to restore and repair ecosystems in uh, the waterfront of cities. Then they will see the challenge to rebuilding the rest of the ocean that is under far less pressure has been an achievable goal. We've been doing experiments in Laco Maggiore in Italy. My PhD student, Michel Havik, was responsible for conducting the measurements of soundscapes, both above and below water. And we team up with Technical University of Delft, responsible for measuring the energy introduced by the vessels on the environment and the interaction with the shorelines. So the hydrophone is measuring the sounds underwater and we're above the water as well. We're putting three in the water uh, along the race course. So we're going to have all the readings from the boat, when it's at its fastest, when it's turning, and when it's slowing down as well. We also measure the waves and with that get an insight on what the impact of the conventional and the race boats are. These experiments are hugely important to us in improving that the race boat does have a positive impact. So we're looking at um, the amount of kind of waves generated after a race burst passes and the sonic pollution that it may or may not cause. And we're going to compare versus a combustion engine. Yeah. Yes, okay. Oh yeah. Alright, you wanna come around this side? How does the bottom feel? Yeah, it's it's soft, but it's good. Okay. So Yes, Venture Jose. Well, that was easy, perfect positioning. Uh, we also got a few waves, so we know there will be waves uh, propagating here. I think they were moving some boat fast, so uh, then, uh, yes, I'm very happy. You know. We could pop it just here. Oh, it's perfect. Perfect spot. Yeah, one to go. <laughs> All right, I'm going in. We're putting a recorder here as close as we can to the shore, 
without having any interference and it's going to hopefully pick up some nice acoustic signatures from the boats as they go around the course. All right, that's everything. It's just time for the boats to go around and get our results. So combustion engines uh, release particles that are polluting the aquatic environment, but they also are the most pervasive uh, source of noise. So globally that has increased by about fourfold on the last 20 years. So if we move to electric, we make it possible for humans to interact with the marine environment while maintaining healthy marine life there. It went really good. Uploaded the data from one of the hydrophones. Just looking at it preliminarily, we can see these peaks where the race bird is coming through and doing its circuit. These sound signatures don't seem to be as strong as the pumas. Awesome. The results were remarkable, first of all, in terms of the noise generation. So when we uh, race with a race bird, our microphones registered as the most uh, dominant uh, signature, the singing of birds. When a similar combustion energy was raised, the dominant component of the soundscape was actually the noise coming from the boat itself and the birds were mute. We saw how Racebird is able to race while also allowing the birds to continue to communicate and be happy on the forest. When the series starts, we can have exciting races while we have marine life undisturbed in the same water bodies. The impact assessment is one of the first steps that we're looking to experiment with to kind of showcase how the race bed really does have a positive impact on our local waters. But equally, it's important to have a kind of broader purpose. We're going to have girls in STEM educational workshops, working with local NGOs or local universities and getting people involved. It's important that we respect that and actually help to leave a positive impact on those coastal communities where we race. The E1 desire to have racing championships in cities and marinas and close to the shore, close to the fans. Sustainability needs to be considered, also the operation of the product. We're running an electric vehicle, so how we charge it, we can uh, make sure that the boat actually when it's running is efficient as possible such that it uses the minimum amount of energy. But then looking into the sustainability of the materials that we've been using, the energy that's needed to create those materials in the first place, doing a full sort of life cycle assessment of the boat has helped us have in mind the, the environmental impact of you know, our design decisions. That's what was compelling in the first place to deliver fantastic technical capability as well as a show and event that people will love and be considerate to the world ahead. We know how much we are passionate about the combination of sport and technology to test new solutions and to make sure that everyone can see that you can build exciting entertainment with the future of mobility. I believe that that element of sustainability, which is how we work together across generations to improve our world, it's really key. We don't give up on the dream that we can have a healthy ocean again in a few decades. We're stewards of this great place that we live, and we're here to not only achieve these personal goals, but also to leave the world a better place than when we came into it. This is the way that the world is heading, and I think we want to be the forefront of change. I am the designer of the race bird. I found inspiration to come up with a design and a product that is more accessible for people. It's important that we actually make racing equal. Ewan will be a good platform for diversity and inclusivity because of what they're doing behind the scenes with designing. We want to give everyone a fair chance to win. 